Hi, my name is Nathan Suazo and today I'm going to show you how to center a vanity light that is not centered with the faucet. So these are the tools you're going to need to do this project. We got a square, utility knife, drywall knife, marker, crowbar, drill bit, needle nose pliers, some blue tape, cordless drill, tape measure, pipe cutter, ABS, black cement, and a level. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna find the center of this faucet. You could just eyeball it, but we're just gonna do it exactly. And it seems to be one and a half, so that would be three quarters. So just take your pencil and mark it at three quarter. And then we're gonna do it on another spot here so we can draw a straight line. So now just take your straight edge and line it up to those marks you made and draw a straight line. So now take your tape measure and we're just gonna double check to make sure we're, oh, we're right on, perfect. So now we're gonna take our square here and we're gonna line it up on that pencil mark and then we're gonna take our level and push it right up against there so it kisses the edge of that. So now we're gonna level the level. So just get that bubble right in the middle and then we'll have a perfectly straight line from the bottom up. So now we're gonna make a mark on our level. So now we'll mark up top. So you're probably wondering why we didn't measure off the wall. Well, walls are not always square. So we just used a level. In this case, it's 28 pretty much exact. So if we would have measured 28 from the top, it's actually gonna be off a little bit. Okay, so put on your safety goggles and now we're gonna remove this light, make sure the electricity is turned off, just turn the switch off. Come in here, loosen these little nuts here. And then we're just gonna pull it off the wall, hang on to it. You don't want it crashing down on your new vanity. Oh, wow. Another illegal light fixture. Okay, well, we're gonna do it right anyway, so it doesn't matter. So now we're just gonna take off this vanity light bracket. Okay, now, we're gonna pull this wire through. We're gonna to have to cut a hole through the stud and attach it to our, our new blue box here. So our box is gonna be here. It's just barely gonna make it, but it's gonna work. So we're up to code here. Okay, so we're gonna drop the light about 10 inches from the ceiling. So now we're just gonna trace a line here around our outlet box. Once we get it centered, then just take your pencil. Now we can cut that out. So now we're just gonna cut out this drywall. Just follow, trace the line. We're gonna find out, oh, there's a pipe back there. Son of a so we're gonna have to cut the drywall away so we can see how much room we have to push the pipes back. So we're just gonna score the drywall here, right in the middle of the stud. So now we're gonna remove the drywall and then we're going to push these pipes back against the wall so we can fit our electrical box the correct way. And the way I did this is I just used my stud buddy to find the center of the stud. I took a marker and marked it straight down with the straight edge. And then I used my knife and just scored it, kept scoring it and scoring it. And then you just pull it off. So first, before we do any cutting or connecting, we gotta do a little bit of planning. So this is our one and a half inch, 45 degree connector. And we're just gonna set it, the goal is to set this pipe up against the wall. And then we're gonna see that our electrical outlet box goes here and there's plenty of room back there for this to work as it doesn't work here. 
So the goal is to take these one and a half inch 45 degree connectors and we're just going to put them here on the old pipe and then put this here and get it to the back here and then connect it on the bottom and then we can put our drywall back. So first we're going to cut probably right here about three or four inches away from the ceiling. And then we're going to cut here and then on the bottom. Okay, we're going to reuse this pipe. So we're going to dry fit everything first to make sure it's going to work properly. So put on your 45, put on your 45 on your spare pipe, and you can see we're going to have to get another pipe in between here. We'll measure that in a minute, but let's just double check that it's going to work. It's going to work perfect. We went ahead and put the, this pipe back together real quick because that's a drain pipe for upstairs. So we'll just be doing the demonstration on the vent pipe. So the first thing is we're gonna dry fit and then we'll measure our pipe and cut it and then we'll glue it together. So this goes back. We can see how much pipe we need to cut. And then uh, I just put this on. We're reusing the old pipe to save the world, save the environment. And then we're going to measure that distance from here to there with a little bit of space. We're not going to go the full thing. So, so if we went the full thing, it'd be two inches, but we're going to make it a little bit shorter than that to give us some room to play with. So one and three quarters for that one. And then for the bottom one here, same deal. And take your tape measure. So we'll go one and a half. So now we're gonna cut the pipe. The first one was one and three quarters. One and three quarters. Hard to see black on black, but it's a little shiny. Then remember on our cutter, we have that little line right in the manufacturing line. It lines up right with their razor blade. So we're just gonna line up that line with our black shiny line. Push it on, get rid of your marker. So now we'll do the one and a half, same principle. Here's our shiny line, line up the straight line. And now we should have a perfect one and a half. Okay, so when you're doing this, you wanna make sure you have even cuts because if it's uneven it's not going to attach to your connector very well you're not going to get a good connection just take your cutter come down about an inch make it nice and clean now it's perfectly even this will be good so now we're going to dry fit and that's our one and three quarter put this in here Ice there. Then we have this here. So now we're going to measure to cut the pipe. And from the bottom of this lip here, it's 19, 19 and 5 eighths exact, but we want a little bit of play. So we'll go 19 and a half. Twist, and voila. So now I'm gonna dry fit, make sure everything fits correctly before we glue it together. And the secret to this is you wanna attach 
the 45 up top and then your cut piece and then we're going to wrestle these two together to make it fit and here we go perfect let's double check that our outlet's going to work and there's plenty of room here so now we just have to glue it together so we're going to start gluing this thing together Make sure you got it going the right way. One other important thing is to make sure all the angles are laying flat when you're doing your gluing, that they're all going the same way. Squeeze it together. Wipe off your excess. Now we're gonna do the other side. Now remember, the one important thing is you don't wanna have an angle glued going one way and the other one going the, a different direction. You wanna make sure they're lined up the same way before you glue it up. Get your glue on. Now we're gonna push it on. Now we're gonna make sure that they're both going the same way. And they're both, that's, that's great. So now we're gonna attach the top 45. Now it doesn't go this way, that's wrong. So make sure you get it going the right way. Otherwise we'll have to start over. And remember, we just want to make sure that, see how it's not level yet? Now it's even, nice and even. We're ready to go inside the wall now. Okay, we're gonna start here on the top. Make sure you got the pipe going the right way. And push it on. So now we're gonna glue this adapter on first and then we'll do this connection last. Make sure you have the right side, there's a glue side. And then, gonna push that on like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue the inside of this, glue the outside of this, and then push them together. Okay, now we're gonna connect them together. So now you can see the electrical outlet is gonna fit perfect without any pipes in the way. So the only final thing is, this is a vent pipe. This is an, actually a drain pipe from upstairs. I'm gonna ask the people upstairs to run their faucet and make sure there's no leaks. And then we can put the drywall back on. Okay, so now we've got our pipes set so we can set our outlet. We're going to get rid of all this extra drywall debris and then remove these nails and then we'll cut in some new drywall. We're gonna leave that nail, that's no big deal. And this nail here too. Get a little more support on the old drywall. So let's measure for some new drywall here. There's 16 and 3 eighths. There's 16 and a quarter exactly. So let's just go down and double check. That's 16 and a quarter. That's 16 there, kind of reduces a little bit. So the first piece is gonna be two feet. So 16, let's go cut the drywall 16 and a quarter by two feet. You could do it in one section, but I just bought small pieces. So now we're gonna measure the drywall, 16 and a quarter, one at the bottom. Then we take the straight edge, just do it gently first. Don't wanna cut yourself. Push down on your straight edge. Now, we're just gonna rescore this a couple times. Just do this maybe three or four times. You don't have to go all the way through because now we're gonna break it. See, it breaks like this. Then we're gonna take the back, and we're gonna score the back. 
there we go. So now we gotta pull this wire through this stud here. So just come back here about two inches. And we're gonna have to cut this out so we can reach in there and push the wire through. So it's just a little more drywall repair, but not a big deal. That should be enough. Oh, before you do that, make sure that nobody turned the power back on. So we're good. So now we'll pull it through. So now we're just gonna push this through the hole here. There it is, there we go. There it is. So now we're gonna see how we fit. It's almost there just a little bit here so you can just take your knife and score this here so we can drop it in okay now we're just going to adhere the drywall so we'll just put it on the edge here to hold it you want to countersink the screw flush with the drywall so we're gonna do the new drywall about every four inches, right on that stud. And then notice this is loose. So we're gonna to have to put some screws in the old drywall too, because we took out the nails. Okay, now we're ready to do the cutout. So just repeat what we did at the beginning of the video where we, we found the center and then we traced our outlet box, the outer rim, and then we're gonna trace the inner rim and use these fins here to do that. And then pew, pew, and then cut out the inner rim, not the outer. Okay. Well, this is still gonna come through, but we're not gonna pull it through yet. We gotta make sure that we can still push our box through. So we still have a little more trimming to do. We're getting there. Now we just have to trim out these little fins. So we're just gonna trace that out. So these are, there's a fin, a fin there, there. Just a little more. Now we just have to pull the wire through and then we can tighten these down for our new light. But before I do that, I'm gonna show you how this remodel box works. When we tighten down these screws here, these little fins are gonna pop up. Pew and then they're gonna tighten on the drywall here. First thing is we wanna pull the wire through and I'm gonna choose this one on the left here, this tab here. Let's see how we can push it open. So we're gonna push the wire through there and then it's gonna hold it in place. So let's start. Now the trick is we wanna get the insulation through the box, that way it's up to code. So this is the insulated part, this white cover that's on the wires. These wires here are uninsulated. So we can go ahead and push this through. Don't break the tab back here. This tab is designed to hold on to the wires so the wires don't fall into the wall, cause a fire. Now we wanna tighten down the box. And this is more or less a, a fill thing, you can see. There it is, nice and tight. Okay, it's nice and tight, nice and snug. Now we can attach our new vanity light. So that's how you center a light 
when two pipes are in the way. And one other thing we got to do is mud and texture this. We'll do that in another video. We left this piece of drywall off on purpose so we can check for leaks for the next couple days. If there's no leaks, then we'll put the drywall on and finish this thing up.